What's up guys, my name is Janine and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we will be making a graduation candy lay. So not just your normal candy lay, but a more fun, funky, and colorful one. But we will be also making the normal candy lay, but instead of candy, I will be using my favorite, and maybe yours too, Hot Cheetos. And it's good because these are pretty big, so they'll save time. But first and foremost, I want to say congratulations to class of 2022. Woo! Congratulations. I don't know how you guys did it. You got your diplomas, you got your degrees, you got your PhDs, your masters. In spite of a pandemic, this crazy world that we're in, I don't know how you guys did it, but you did it and you're done. Give yourselves a pat on the back. I'm proud of you. I'm sure your family and friends are proud of you. Go celebrate because you guys deserve it. Once again, congratulations, class of 2022. And this lay is dedicated to you. Honestly, you guys, this lay is so easy to make, both of them. However, it is a shall we say labor of love you see what i did right there because it does take forever i like to if someone requests a lay for me i like to ask for at least two months in advance just because i'm busy and i like to make these lays when i'm watching tv so you can either like me do it a month or two months in advance or you could probably make it in two movies worth so four hours yeah and it's just very tedious unfortunately but like i said it is super duper easy anyone can make it i just wanted to make sure i have a disclaimer that it doesn't take five minutes the more normal candy lay that you see um that that is way faster i mean like i can crank those out no problem the candy lay i'm about to show you and i'm sure you've seen video other videos of it on youtube sheesh it's insane it takes a minute so yeah just prepare yourself for that okay okay so for today's graduate we are making a blue and stars combo lay for them um i've got some of it done so far i don't know if you can see it it's huge and this to me this type of lay is a great base so if you're gonna give your graduate like five ten lays ten plus lays i would say this is a good one to go on first since it's so full and it's so big if you're giving them like a purple orchid dendrobium lay girl buy it that thing's gonna be gone gone once i put this beast on that lay well blam where's that dendrobium lay now dendrobium is gone okay ain't nobody gonna see your orchid lay when you have this on top of it so make sure you put this one on first and then put on the flower lays next and then you just see all the beautiful colors underneath even if this is the only lay you get that's enough i mean this is enough and it's still beautiful for photos okay so let's get right to it so here are our materials so first thing of course you will need cellophane and now this is my like the regular size roll cellophane um i actually got the cellophane at the walmart in hawaii a million years ago and i thought it was so beautiful that i just thought like oh i'm gonna make a lay out of it and i literally never did but i still think it's so beautiful and I'm sure one of these days the time will come and I will make a lay for a special individual. Until then, I get most of my cellophane on Amazon and online. Now this is a jumbo roll. It's 40 inches wide, I believe, by 100 feet. And it's great. So it's great, especially for things like this chip lay that I'm gonna make because it could take at least three bags of the chips across it whereas this cellophane can probably only take two it's good to have either a cutting board or a ruler to be able to measure out your cellophane um, it makes it a lot easier but if you don't have a cutting board any type of ruler will do and next is our ribbon so you can get ribbon at the dollar store and curling ribbon specifically the dollar store or amazon michaels i got this off of michaels but, and they have tons of colors. I love, you know, all the colors, but especially the metallic. I think the metallic is so festive. It's so beautiful. And then if you want, if you want to make your lay even more festive, you could do two colors. 
So say it's UCLA colors, you could do gold and blue. And then to tie on our individual pieces of candy, I use twine or whatever rope is available. I would suggest not to use the curling ribbon. I have in the past and it is broke on, broke on me, so I probably wouldn't do that. Something that's easy for you, when you tie on the candy, you could just slide it down, slide it. Slide it, slide it, you know what I mean? Well, obviously you'll need some scissors. You could also use a rotary cutter, but I usually just do scissors. Some tape, obviously the candy. If you wanna get real, you know, simple. You do peppermint candy, keeps the cost low if you're selling it. And then um, for our chips lay, we're gonna do six bags of the Cheetos, but you could also do eight if you need to make it extra long for a taller individual. And I already opened these. I've been snacking, don't mind if I do. Now to upgrade, let me, let me upgrade your lay. You can always add cash money. Cash money, who doesn't love cash money? Now, these look raggedy as heck, don't they? Ugh. I'm probably gonna add it to my hot Cheeto lay, but you can add it to your, to any lay, to your candy lay. I'll have a picture of an example right here of past lays that I've done where I've added some money on the front of the lay, basically. People would literally, the day before picking up their lay, that took me, like I said, it took me like a month or two, they would be like, oh girl, can you make me a money lay too? I'm like, no. <laughs> Money lays take longer. They take way longer for me. So I would fold them up into the rosettes or butterfly origami and just add it on the front. And it was a hit. They loved it. It almost looks like a money boutonniere. Um, but the same thing with the chip lay or the candy lay. Wherever you tie the ribbon, you can also tie some money, fold it up as a rosette. And I will obviously show you guys in the video later. So that is it for our materials. All right, let's get to it. Okay, first we're gonna cut our cellophane into seven by seven inch squares. And for this lay, we're gonna keep doing that until we have about 120 pieces. However, you can make one with 100 pieces and that's still a great length. So the person who actually taught me to make this lay is my dear friend Lamb. She's a master crafter and can take on any craft challenge. She's actually the one who gave me my first candy lay and I have loved them ever since. Thank you, Lammy. Sorry. Okay. So when it comes to the ribbon, this is how I cut it. So this is like Dollar Tree ribbon, this is Amazon ribbon, and both are great. You'll probably need a lot more of these spools, obviously, if you're gonna make a lay. But, so this is how I cut it. I take it like this, <clears throat> holding it with my finger, wrap it around to my elbow, and then I just keep loop-de-looing it through there. Oops. We're gonna do this whole roll right now. And we're done. So that's the whole roll, can you see that? And then I'm gonna cut it, be careful, don't cut yourself, with some scissors right here, right at the elbow, slowly. Oh, I missed it. I missed it. Okay, so that's cut. Holding on to it. Hold on to it, okay? And now, <clears throat> right there. God, Cheeto got me in the back of the throat. <sighs> right in, in the middle where I'm holding it. Be careful with the scissors. I'm gonna cut it right there. And then there you have it, that's your ribbon. These should be roughly around, I mean, obviously everybody's arm's different, so I'm not sure what yours would measure at, but these are around like 16 to 17 inches. I think it's a great length, it's not too much, and then it curls perfect when you wrap your candy. 
Okay, so I've already cut out my star cellophane wrap, so we're just gonna place it on top of the blue cellophane, place the candy in the middle, and then squeeze it and wrap it nice and tight. Tie the curling ribbon twice around it, making it nice and fluffy. And then I like to curl the ribbon now. I feel like it's easier to curl it now than if you were to put it on the twine and then curl it later. And for this particular style, I'm doing like a back and forth style with the cellophane. So one candy will have the stars wrap on top and then the other candy will have the stars wrap on the inside. And I'm just going back and forth, back and forth with each individual candy. The combinations that you can do with this lay is endless. I mean, as you can see with these examples, you can have so much fun with it. Okay, so now that our candy is all prepped, we're gonna start tying it onto the twine. You just tie it, slide it down, tie it, slide it down, and I'm going back and forth with each different style. I'm doing the stars one, then the blue one, then the stars one, then the blue one. Okay, while you guys watch me make this beautiful lei, I wanted to share with you a fun fact. I actually first saw this lei in Hawaii during graduation time, and it's actually called a penny lei. So instead of candy, they use pennies, and that's obviously a more cost-efficient way instead of using candy. Um, so definitely Google it, check it out. It's the same concept, using beautiful colors of cellophane, and instead of candy, it's pennies. Okay, so our lay is almost done. It is so beautiful. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's so gorgeous. So I'm not sure if you could tell, but for me sliding it down, there's some gaps in between it. So like I said, I like to make mine really thick, but you know, you gotta, so you gotta slide it down to make sure it, it doesn't have these like sparse areas. Okay, that's good, that feels good. And then I like to flip it to see what it looks like on the other side. Look how gorgeous that is. Look at all that candy. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. And then we're just going to tie it. I'm going to tie it real tight. We're going to triple knot it. Okay, and we're going to cut off any excess. I don't cut too close to the knot just in case anything happens. So I'll cut like right there. Hopefully it doesn't come undone. But if it does, at least they have a little bit of a little bit of some some to like knot it back up. Just like that. Alright, there you have it. Here is our finished piece, our finished lay. It is so beautiful. Take it all in. I love that I did the overlay of the stars over the navy blue or the royal blue and everything just came out so cute. Okay, now on to our hot Cheeto lay. So I'm going to place the hot Cheeto bag on top of the cellophane to gauge how much I need to cut and I'm going to wrap it tight just to see and I'm probably going to cut it around 12 to 13 inches and since I'm using the jumbo roll it's great because all I need to do is slice two slices all the way down at 12 to 13 inches and I've got my lay and you already know I got the holy trinity of flaming hots I got the classic flaming hots the limon flaming hots and the extra extra flaming hots Okay, so I'm going to place the bags face down so when I close the lay, you won't see the tape or anything like that in the back. We want to see the front. That's the money shot. So for closing the bag, like I said, I'm going to tape it closed and I'm going to tape it a couple times just to make sure nothing's popping out or anything. 
And in between each bag, I'm gonna tie a curling ribbon. We're gonna use gold just to make it a little bit more festive. And I'm gonna eventually tie in a second curling ribbon just to give it a little bit more zhuzh. Okay, now that we're done with one side, we're gonna move on to the other side. And to tie it together, we're gonna to tie the top and the bottom with some blue curling ribbon. Just so you know, if you want to add more ribbon, less ribbon, do you. Have fun with it. All right, now we're ready to upgrade this lay with a little bit of cash money. Not a lot of money, but whatever is money in general. So we're gonna make little rosettes or pinwheels as you would call them. We're gonna fold them back and forth in little folds. And in the very middle, we're gonna use our curling ribbon, tie it in the middle, and then use some tape to tape the sides on each side of the bill. Close just to make it nice and clean, a clean wheel. And then we're gonna use this curling ribbon to tie it onto our leg. So another fun fact is I used to sell these candy lays. Not this one you see right here, but the one earlier, the more harder, tedious one. I used to sell these for 20 bucks in front of high schools and colleges, and my little lay company was called Odalay. Um, but yeah, $20, it took forever. I mean, pretty much at that price, you're giving it away for free. But I was so gung-ho about it. I was making lays every night. I even had friends who were helping me make lays. Can you believe that? The sweetest people in the world. Now that's what you call the money shot. There are both of our lays. They're gorgeous. I love it. This graduation is about to be lit. Like, whoever is getting this, even though I know exactly who's getting this, he's going to love it. Bum, 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 bum. What do we think of our finished lay? I love it. I love the colors. I love how full it is. It is so beautiful. And look at this length. Look how long it is on me. I mean, like, this is 120. You could take off 20 and be good with 100. It depends, obviously, how tall your graduate is. But on my height, I mean, this is kind of long for me. But personally, I actually like this length because if you want to layer with flowers or other lays like the Hot Cheeto lay, you can do so and it wouldn't take away from this. I mean, let's be real, nothing can take away from this beast. You, you'll see it, you'll definitely see it. But I just love it so much. The colors are so fun. I mean, can you imagine school colors, 
favorite colors, flag colors, it, you, the team colors, the possibilities are endless. And that is one of the main reasons why I love this lace so much. You can get creative with it and there's just so many options for you to choose from. And look, the Hot Cheeto Lay, super cute, I love it. And I almost feel like it looks like the, the thing, the thing that goes right here, you know? I forgot what it's called, but the thing, it almost looks like that. It looks almost like very like diplomatic right now. I love it, it's so festive. I normally would do clear, but I couldn't find her. So the blue cellophane worked just as great and you can have so much fun and just, be festive with it, especially with the ribbon. And you know, like I said, you could upgrade your lay anytime with a little cash money on the lay. Who don't like any cash money but a student, right? So once again, I want to say a big congratulations to class of 2022. You guys did it. Now go celebrate, have fun with your family and friends. And I hope you guys get this whole summer to relax, travel, and just have the time of your lives. And I know if you guys could do this, you guys can do anything. I wish you the best of luck and all the best vibes in the world. Congratulations again. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you would like to see more of me, please hit the subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much. Bye.